everybody, this is Velvis. Welcome to another edition of This Day in Rock and Roll History. We're going to go back and let you know what we're shaking on this day, so I urge you to sit down, buckle up, and let's get rolling. March 31st, 1957, billed as the nation's only atomic-powered singer, Elvis Presley played two shows at the Olympia in Detroit, Michigan in front of 24,000 fans. March 31st, 1958, Chuck Berry's rock and roll classic, Johnny B. Good, single was released. It entered the U.S. chart six weeks later and peaked at number eight on the chart. March 31st, 1972, the Beatles' official fan club closed. The Beatles' monthly magazine had closed three years previously. March 31st, 1976, Led Zeppelin released Presence, their seventh studio album on their own Swan Song Records in the UK. Presence has now been certified three times platinum. March 31st, 1984, Kenny Loggins started a three-week run at number one on the US singles chart with Foot Loose, the theme from the film with the same name, a number six hit in the UK. March 31st, 1987, Prince released his ninth studio album, Sino the Times, which produced three top 10 singles. March 31st, 1995, Jimmy Page escaped the end knife when a fan rushed to stage at the Page and Plant gig at Auburn Hills, Michigan. March 31st, 2002, Bee Gees' Barry Gibb bought his childhood home in Manchester. Gibb said he was going to clean up the house ran it out, and put a plaque on the wall. All right, that's what was happening on this day in rock and roll history. If you want to know more about what was happening on this day or any day in rock and roll history, I urge you to go down there and hit that link down below, and you can find out anything you want to know. And until I talk to you again, this is Old Felder saying, adios.